Hey y'all, welcome back to Auntie Tay's YouTube channel. Today I wanted to switch up my normal uh, go-to projects and do something for my husband. He does a ton of stuff for me behind the scenes all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you might see some of his uh, finished projects. <laughs> but no in all seriousness he got this really awesome tool chest from his grandpa and it just needed a little extra pizzazz so i decided to use some anti-tape pattern vinyl made specifically for the garage line which it just it looks perfect so i hope you guys like it and it inspires you to use a couple of guy crafts yourself for the men in your lives let's get working Hey everyone, it's Sam from the Auntie Tay team, and you're watching The Sam Show. Let's go make some fun things. So here is the tool chest, and it's in actually really good shape. Um, his grandpa takes really good care of everything, but the top was starting to rust, and it was a little beat up, so it gave me the idea of using this awesome new pattern line of vinyl the anti tay home line vinyl this is specifically uh garage hangout number eight if you're looking for the pattern and i just thought it would go really well with this tool chest so to start off it was really dirty and it needed to be cleaned so i took some soapy water and washed it off and really just made sure i got all the dust and like any flaking paint off um which there wasn't a lot which was good i just wanted to remove any dust that might be anywhere and that way it wouldn't stick to the vinyl and it would actually stick to the tool chest itself so you can see me cleaning it and then I went in and dried it with coffee filters because coffee filters don't leave a bunch of lint. Um, I used paper towels to wipe it down originally, but it was kind of leaving lint marks everywhere. So then I sprayed it down with soapy water again and cleaned it off with coffee filters. Once you had it as clean as you would like, then it's time to prepare your vinyl. I used my Cricut cutter because it just is, creates a nice straight edge and makes it really easy, especially when you're trying to line up these seamless patterns to each other to cut that tab off that has the name on it. I always like to see where the pattern is going to go first before I start taking the back off. And it gives me an idea of how many sheets I'm going to need to when I line, line it up ahead of time. I'm going to bring back out my soapy water and spray the area that I'm going to cover. It's a lot easier to put the vinyl on when there is water and especially soapy water so it can slide around. Um, as you can see, I had to pull it up. It did pull up a little bit of the paint, but I could have scrubbed it a little bit harder ahead of time. And I'm just placing it and rolling it along as I go, kind of squeegeeing it out so all the air bubbles and all of the water that's underneath is going to come out. It took a little finagling, but I got it eventually, and it was actually really easy once I had it in the correct spot. Rub the bubbles out as much as you can, the best of you can, and if you still have some bubbles, just take a pin pen or a, you know, a sewing needle and you can poke the bubbles out. You just don't really want that water sitting in there if it did get trapped. And then I'm just going to measure there's a little bit gap left over and I'm going to fill in the rest of the pattern. 
Now, when you're doing the pattern, you want to make sure you're going to line up the correct way. So you're going to cut it the way it needs to go. Um, so, you know, double check to make sure you have the pattern going the way you want it to before you cut, you know, measure twice, cut once. That's, I should put that saying on this chest for my husband too. Just, I've never had to remind him that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just pulling his leg. But as you can see, I cut that little piece out and I'm fitting it along that edge. And this is probably the hardest part is matching the pieces um, when you're trying to get it close to an edge. But it was easier to match the pattern up and then just take an X-Acto knife to the excess that's hanging over the edge. And that's what I did uh, once I had it all lined up on there and stuck. I just took an X-Acto knife and used the corner of the chest to trim off the excess pieces. It made it really easy and it made it look really sharp. Like it was meant to have this cover on top of it. Then you'll see me using a coffee filter to wipe away the excess um, of the water that was under the vinyl. And if there is any vinyl overhanging the edge, you will want to trim that just because it'll peel up over time if it's not sitting on there flush or even up along it a little bit unless you wrapped it around but i always think it kind of bubbles so i just made sure to take my exacto knife and trim it it was a lot harder when it's just like those thin little pieces um so just keep that in mind but i would definitely trim it i added the back pieces on one at a time i tried to use as few of pieces as possible so that it's not super patchy and trimmed everything out and used a coffee filter to make sure i was pressing the air bubbles out and any of the excess water that was it i think it looks like a brand new tool chest it looks so good and my hubby absolutely loved it it just takes an old piece and brings it a new life again.